All right, so YouTube. So we're gonna be doing a, another Hecarim game today, and this game we're actually be testing out a uh, a build rune item setup that I've been theory crafting a little bit, and I think would actually work pretty well. So something that I realize is that with the recent jungle changes, I don't think that you're gonna be playing for mid game power spikes anymore. Playing for a 2-3 to three item spike as a jungler I don't think is necessarily that great of an idea. So that's why what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to go for like a tempo build. So I might be saying, what is a tempo build? Well, I'll explain. Step 1 is you want to go ultimate hunter again. And the reason why you're going ultimate hunter is so that you can go for like more ult opportunities on the map. When objectives are off, stuff like that. So you can actually like get leads. And then step 2 is you rush humus every game. Even if you're behind. And the reason why you rush Humus is because when you rush Humus, you get movement speed, right? And the movement speed makes it so you actually have like a faster clear speed, which I think is going to help a lot. So that's why we're going to be trying out a ultimate hunter into Humus into Spear of Shojin builds here. You still just want to do like standard full clear though. I don't think uh, three camping is even like that much of an option anymore with the recent changes. As long as they don't kill. Oh my god. Not bad. Well, since I saw two camp into bot, I mean, I'm getting ping, but it's like, I don't know what this guy would want me to do if I don't have E. Okay, so I actually have a crazy idea as well with this build. Let me show you something. So, you finish your full clear, and then you just instantly reset if there's no gank opportunity, right? And I might be saying, why do you insta reset? Because you go for a crazy itemization buy. Doran's Blade into tier 1 boots first buy. You have 750 gold on your first back, and I think that these two items are literally just going to make you, like, insanely powerful. So you go tier 1 boots Doran's, and then you see what you can do afterwards. Okay. <laughs> <Oof>! <laughs> nice. Well, looks like the Dorans actually came in clutch. <laughs> Yay! All right, nice. I think we figured out jungle. Perfect. Only took me two games, and I already figured. I already figured out how to play the role. So, what you want to do to play jungle nowadays is you every single game. Full clear, reset, Doran's Blade, Boots. Legit out of 1300 gold buy, level 1. And he. Okay, we're lagging a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of lag, but it's chill. 1500 ping won't stop me. Well, 1500 won't, but maybe 2500 will. Oh. I mean, 3000 is not that bad. <laughs> be worse oh it's actually getting higher no <laughs> no, no no please let me kill this <laughs> yay okay cool 3k ping 3000 ping interesting jesus christ Isn't that crazy? Well, the good news is we're back down to 10 now. Perfect. Alright. I think I'll just go for like Shad Bok Anchor. I mean, if I can kill Saz here, it's actually huge. There we go.
If crab was up, I would have looked to greet crab, but now I don't actually need to. We should be okay. All I need to do now is just get my reset off. We grab Serrated Dirk and we should be good. So that's a cool thing is that getting early Serrated Dirk out and all that kind of stuff. It's actually chill because you also get 100 health from your Doran, so it's okay. I mean, I don't know what this sauce is doing with just Prima Ganking, but... Because if this gang doesn't work out, the guy just wasted so much time. No, I think he's completely trolling his game. Little bro is completely trolling his entire game right now. And imagine he doesn't get the kill. I don't know what this guy's doing. Alright. If I know, just full clear my top side, and then I'll just go for an invade on him. Perfect. No, we'll just send me Raptors here. I assume that his bot side would be up here. And the reason why I assumed like his bot side would be up and I didn't invade his top side was because his bot side was the first set of camps that he cleared and my top side was already like respawn, right? So now if I do this, I should have like level 7 and I mean at this point I just have like a crazy lead on him. So this is the thing about the jungle nowadays that like some junglers aren't really understanding and adapting to, like the sauce for example. Is that jungle nowadays is really really really, like you can't mess up your tempo, you just can't. If you do, you're just gonna lose the game. I mean, I think I should probably ult it out, but I thought if I ult in, that would have been fine. Mm, it's kind of just, it's kind of bad that in my shutdown there, though. I mean, if they can trade, oh my god, just sounds about to go crazy. <laughs> Perfect. So the good news is, I sold just on ult, which means he has no R, which means if I invade his top set here, it should be good. Mm, do I really want to though? I feel like if I invade Sauce on his top side, then Nautilus is just gonna roam straight there and then they're gonna kill me and it's gonna be really bad. So instead what I can do is I can just go blue into full clear upwards, play for level eight and then I'll just get Herald. Because that's the thing, it's like, I'm telling you guys, if you aren't full clearing as a jungler nowadays, even though full clearing got like hard nerfed, it's like just playing for ganks got even like more insanely hard nerfed. So you really have to like, if you're not clearing your camps, you're just gonna like lose so many games. Alright, let's go. I have a two level lead. I just wanna keep Q stocks off, Craig's. I mean, if I could actually, like, get Heralds here, I'm actually almost level 9. Perfect. Okay, now we got the Yumus. It's time to see how good this item really is. Oh, wait, oops. Time to see how good Yumu's Hecarim really is now. Alright. I'll just play for the, uh... Play for Crab here and then we should be good. Let's go, 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 let's go
Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I thought I'd be able to kill the crab before he would, uh, he would have, like, gotten me in, like, lethal range. Like, if the health from crab would have came in a little bit sooner... Wow. If the health from crab would have came in a little bit sooner, that would have been good. But this game, what it teaches me is the importance of dorms. I think you can't afford to go tier anymore, ever. Because, like, early game, you just can commit all your gold for Dorans. On. We gotta use all our movement abilities. I need to get that kill on you. Nice. Now I just shove this wave out. We take care of them. We're good. So let's go bot. So I grab Herald and then I invade his top side. So do you see what I mean though? By if you're not perma farming, you're just gonna like lose the game. Because look at the Silas. The Silas was ganking a lot this game, right? And he's 5 CS per minute, which isn't like terrible as a champion like Silas. But he's literally about to be 3 levels down on me because of it. I'm telling you guys, nowadays you really can't afford to have these like spam gang play styles. If you do and the enemy jungler doesn't, you're just going to lose the game. Even though Herald's only gonna take one plate here, also drop it. We're gonna play for the inner turret, that's why. Perfect. I think now my play is, is I'll just clear my bot side, get upgraded smite, and then we just play for the uh, dragon. What is this? What's the sauce gonna do? How can he contest if I have upgraded smite advantage? Yeah, now we just get this, we're good. <laughs> Look, I'm level 11, Sauce is level 8. All I need is for Jin to shove this in and then we just dive bot instantly. Alright, let's see what damage we're dealing with. Perfect. There's only Sauce's bot side here, right? That would mean Nautilus is alone? Nah, I backed off. Alright, so we'll just reset and go for Shoujin. I think you move into Shoujin is probably the best, just because, like, Shoujin at least gives you a little bit of health. Um, I think what the build actually would be is, like, if you go Yumu Shoujin into, like, Sterax, you're never gonna really one shot anyone uh, if you go this build, unfortunately. But the good thing about it is that you will be able to, like, be, like, somewhat relevant in fights. Perfect. So I'm just run around the map at Mach 10 and just kill everybody. Three level lead on the sauce at 16 minutes. But I don't know what the sauce is doing. He's not farming any of his cams. Like the guy's ganking both his entire top side up. 
He's gonna be down four levels at 17 minutes. Like, what? Literal 80 CS lead. I'll just reset and I'll grab my show channel. Should be good. All right, nice. I mean, at this point, I'm insanely strong. Like, the enemy team literally cannot do anything to me. Okay, let me go for an instant bait on the raptors here. This isn't warded. Uh, it's like it's not worded, but then the problem is if not, it assaults me. I just in my shutdown. Sal is just casually down four levels. Okay. Well, I mean, that fight went really bad because I got like chain CC, but the good news is Shasan was able to get. And like an insane amount of kills this game just based off like it's like me dying just got Trisana fed every single time. Every death I have is Trisana getting like two to three kills. Oh <laughs> nice, well played. Mm. If anything, what I'll do is I'll just run straight to Heralds here. Run straight Herald and then we'll be good. Alright, so. Four level lead on Sauce at 20. Yeah, I just didn't finish out here. Wait, oh my god, I didn't realize. If I was actually paying attention, I would have realized I wouldn't have had time to complete it. Perfect. Well, the good news is that damage with Humus and Shochen actually doesn't feel that bad at all. Oh my like, I'm not sure if it's just because I am, like, up as much as I am in terms, like, levels and everything, but damage felt very decent there. And now once I finish Serax too, it should be, like, insane for me. Like, now with Serax, the crazy thing is that I'll literally never die again. I get Serax, I get Elixir, and... I'm literally 3.5k HP. I have 500 AD. Okay, well, now the enemy team cannot say anything. Five level lead on Sas at 21 minutes. I'm just gonna back off and heal off my uh, Gromp and then I'll just run straight bot. Uh, 
So something I noticed is that in the late stage of the game, you heal off camps, but then in the mid stage of the game, they actually do damage to you. That's how the jungle nerfs feel. So it's like unchanged late game, unchanged very early game, but then in like the mid stage of the game, it does change. I think I'm just on the game here, actually. I just got Kusax off this wave. I'm not my Sax off CD. I could easily look for a kill. Because the KO doesn't make you invulnerable from Fountain. Whoops. It's fine. What should I get next item? What's like Loki the last item play here? Mm. I feel like Cleaver would be chill. All right, and now it's time to sell the Dorans. We need to say farewell to the item that got us the lead that we got and allowed us to win this game. Adontis, go on Broglave first and then you move second. No. That's a terrible idea. If you're ever gonna build Yumu's, you need to build it as a rush item because part of the strength of Yumu's is the movement speed that it gives. And the movement speed allows you to tempo, right? So it's literally the most important item to rush because you need to get it as soon as possible to start tempoing into into like faster clears, faster map rotations, all that stuff. If you're delaying it by 2,500 gold because you want to build an Umbral Glaive randomly, you should do something that would demonetize this video. Does that make sense? That sounds... I want to look for an end play here. I wonder if I can just like, I want to see how good my damage actually feels. Okay. Well, now Kale just comes in and wipes their entire team. There we go. So, yeah, it definitely feels like you can't actually 1v5 an enemy team comp because you don't have, like, Jackthar, but, I mean, it's so chill. I feel like this build is strong. I need to test a little bit more with it, but it actually feels really nice.